Hi guys! Today we'll take a look together at when to use a verb ending ing, a gerund, or with to infinitive. Because learning grammar is wicked, isn't it? Or should I say to learn grammar is wicked? Let's find out. We use verbs ending ing basically in four cases. When the verb is the subject of a clause. Listening to music has countless benefits for your mind, body and soul. After most prepositions. I can't study without listening to music. After by to express the way your method something is done. When I'm learning for a test, I get much more focused by listening to some classical music. And finally, after certain verbs. You need to learn them by heart. I miss going to concerts and music festivals. On the other hand, we use the to infinitive form of the verb in these situations. After adjectives. It's always nice to come across buskers when sightseeing. To indicate purpose. I always play some upbeat music to cheer up before going out. And again, after certain verbs, which you also need to learn. I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. And you might be wondering, Anna, is that it? So easy? Where's the catch? Well, bad news is some verbs can be followed by either gerund or infinitive and although sometimes there is little or no change in meaning, some other times using either gerund or infinitive can make a huge difference. Some of the verbs that can be followed by either gerund or infinitive with little or no difference in meaning are these. I started playing the piano when I was eight or I started to play the piano when I was eight. And some of the verbs that can be followed by either one or the other, but with a big difference in meaning, are these. Remember, I remember meeting Hit's former singer in Madrid about seven years ago. I've got this memory of having done something in the past. Please remember to bring a ukulele tomorrow. We'll be making some music. This is kind of a reminder of something that you need to do. It kind of looks into the future. Forget. I'll never forget seeing White Snake live for the first time. You forget or you don't forget having done something in the past. I'm sorry I forgot to buy the tickets for tomorrow's concert. You forget you need to do something. You miss a reminder. Regret. I regret missing their last show because I don't think I'll get the chance to see them live again. You're getting so old. You did something in the past or something happened in the past which you're not happy about. I regret to tell you they're officially retiring, so it's a fact. You won't see them live. You're about to tell bad news and you're not happy about it. Stop. My hubby stopped playing the guitar because somebody texted him. You stop doing something, you interrupt something which is in progress. My hubby stopped to text him back. You stop or interrupt whatever you were doing, which you don't need to mention, in order to do something different. Go on. David Coverdale went on singing in spite of the rain. He continued doing the same thing. When they finished playing in the still of the night, they went on to play sailing ships. They finished something and went on to change the activity. Try. That chord sounds awful in this song. Try playing B minor and see if it sounds any better. You experiment with different methods to see if something works. You should try to keep your back as straight as possible when playing the piano. You try hard, you make a big effort to do something which is usually difficult. And now, as usual, let's check how much you've learned so far. I bet you did learn a lot. 
You've got to decide whether you're using gerunds or two infinitives to complete the following sentences. Yay! Good job, my grammar queens and kings. I regret to inform you that you failed your English test. Just kidding. I use it to infinitive because I'm about to give you some bad news. Wi-Fi not working? Try restarting your router. We're doing this as an experiment to see if it works. It's comforting to talk to other people who understand what you're going through. We use to infinitive after an adjective. I stopped working to tell my kids a story. Working with ing because it is the activity that I interrupt, the one that was in progress. To tell infinitive because is the one that I'm starting, the new activity. So let's call it a day. Thanks for giving me your attention and I hope to see you again very soon.